side shot. Hey guys, good morning. It is a throwback terrific Thursday. It's terrific because <clears throat> today is about the 10th day I've been really sick and I have just given up and given in and today, today, go ahead, take it away. Do you know my name? <laughs> you know my name. Look up the number. I'm Mr. Elegy, they say. <laughs> And I'm here with you live today. We have a lot to talk about. We got guitars. We got, I have the most interesting tractor story you've ever heard. And uh, got a birthday that we're working to. We have two birthdays? We have two? Who's the other one? I don't know. Oh, it's a surprise. I, I, that, that well, it's I, not my birthday. <coughs> That duct tape ain't doing you a bit of good. You ain't used it yet. Yeah, no. I have duct tape here in case of an emergency. <laughs> like if, uh, if we have a uh, verbal flash flood, <laughs> I'm going to use this. All right. Here's your buddy's picture. Here's the queen of verbal flash floods right here. <laughs> Who's that right there? Oh, it's Bob's birthday. I have this friend named Bob. Bob Mullen. You know him. You know him. He's a Vietnam veteran. He's rode his Harley Davidson right here. It is now all over, seriously, folks, all over the United States, twice. Wow. <laughs> there's there's nowhere he hasn't been. He's gone to Canada. This guy rode this Harley to Canada one time for a cup of coffee. And he's 80 years old. He's 80 now. He's probably about 69 or so then. Wow. He is a motorcycle man, I tell you. Vietnam vet, I said that. Mm -hmm. What a guy. His birthday's Sunday. He's going to be 80 years old. And to talk to him, you'd think he was 40. We cut up and have the most fun. Once a month, we go out to dinner and just have fun. And he's a heck of a guy. We're going to do like a video today for his montage, too, that he don't know about. Shh, don't tell anybody. And today, I have to say happy birthday to Riker John Martin, who will be four years old on 9-11. His daddy wanted him to be born on 9-11, and Catherine just barely made it. But he was, and he is the joy and the uh, happy, happiness in my life. Do you so, want me to sing happy birthday for I him? would love for you to. Okay. Thank uh, you. Here it comes. All right, And I'd like to say before I start, I have this guitar, and this is a Taylor guitar. And in the control room, we have a guy named Donovan. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Happy birthday to y'all. Happy birthday to y'all. Happy birthday to my boys. Happy birthday to you. Rock on, Bob. <clears throat> Happy man. birthday. Happy birthday. Okay. Today we are going to talk guitars. Oh, no, I take that back. He's going to talk guitars while I nurse my throat. So I'm trying to work up a trivia thing that we could that I could do here. Mm -hmm. uh, this guitar that's right behind my head right here was played by a very famous person. Okay, and uh, my my phone number. Should I give up my phone number? I don't care. If you want to. Yeah. yeah. My, my, my cell phone number is 706-889-3116. Okay? You may live to regret it. I may this. live to regret it. We just hope I live, period, at my age. And uh, if you can text me the name of the person that played this guitar and the band he was with. They're going to win a Mr. L.J. t-shirt. I'll give you a Mr. L.J. t-shirt. Okay, there and if we go. can move our heads out Take of the way. Take a good look at it. <laughs> can you move your head? Widely popular. Move my your head, head, my head, my head. <laughs> All we can do is your head. There it is. It's, it's a very popular guitar, and uh, everybody knows who played that. Not everybody, but and if you know, you can get a free T-shirt. This one, okay. And, and can we tell people a hint that this was my favorite band ever, because we've talked about that in the past? If you keep giving hints, you're going to cost me a T-shirt. <laughs> But yeah, it was a lot of people's favorite band. It had a very distinctive sound, oh, man. and it could not be accomplished with any other instrument. This could, is the one. Could you do a lick of one of their songs? 
You, you're giving away a T-shirt, right? Yeah, pretty okay. much. <laughs> All right. You're probably pretty assured. Now, we want the band and the guy who played it. It sounded like this. This is a real quick snippet. There it is. That's it. <laughs> That's all you're giving him. <laughs> He's tough today. He's tough. Now, why, why have you got that duct tape here? I had to bring it because sometimes we have these situations where I can't seem to finish a sentence <laughs> at any cost. And uh, it's due to a verbal flash flood from a certain person. <laughs> My, you know who that person yeah. is? And will you just tell everybody that you love me to death and you're not being mean? <laughs> I'm not being mean. She's the sweetest lady ever, but Lord <laughs> does she talk. So I thought if we brought this, it could slow her down. She, right now, it's, she's at about 485 words a minute. So I thought with this duct tape, she, it might drop it down to who knows, maybe Three. as low as 470. I'm a comedian, aren't I? Yes. Yeah, yes. I'm and funny. I, I, I'm I, funny. But remember, looks ain't everything. And, and I will just tell y'all, um, your comments about <laughs> our chemistry and how we get along, and we do get along great, and, and you... We get along because I do everything you say do. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty easy. I love for it. For you. I love yeah. it. <laughs> well, I was going to bring up... We do compliment each other because I couldn't carry a tune in a bucket, and you're an amazing musician, you're an amazing songwriter, you're amazing everything now producing. This, this bragging on but my musical I can abilities. Cook, but I can cook. You can cook. So we've got some pictures that show that I can cook. So we trade off that musical. This talent lady of yours. is the finest cook that ever was. She <laughs> she's had a, a cooking show on TV in Atlanta for so many years. I don't know what. And was I it. wish I could do it again. Boy, I wish I could. Now let me show you that. There goes the 66 Did Chevelle, you see yeah. that? I took I, that I picture saw this it. morning. Yeah. The, this the, the morning bit, oh, on 515, that You saw one on 515? Yes, yes. Well, you the see nerve that? of him. You see that? <laughs> you see that? Huh. He turned left on 136 and went toward Chatsworth. I tried Darn to follow him. him down. Darn him. I'm supposed to be the only one with a 66 Chevelle yeah. Super Sport. I tried. No, his wasn't a Super Sport. It I wasn't? Was okay, got gotcha, you, fellow. Just a Malibu. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> just a Malibu. Yes, yes. So, but some viewers have asked me to share my biscuit recipe. Yeah. And I keep trying to explain to people there is no recipe for biscuits. You use white lily flour, you use milk, and you use Crisco. But nobody ever measures making biscuits. You just do it the way your granny did it. Right? Right, exactly. That's how I make my biscuits. So, that's what you do. <laughs> and so, I'm going to video. Wait, I don't, I don't now, make biscuits. Now, see that biscuit? I tried to make it flatter and crisper, but it wasn't quite the way. At the request of someone? Uh-huh, yeah. Yeah, I got a written request, uh -huh. Yeah, in writing. And that's mm. fat back. Yeah. And that's my granny's plate. And is that not a precious wow, memory? Wow, that is precious. Is that not a precious Seriously, memory? folks, you, you, this, this lady can cook. Okay. I try. She I try. can cook. I do put the effort out. She knows and how it's done. There's a rumor that my gumbo has hit the spot with a lot of people from Peru to Gilmer County. That's a, that's a, that's a wide Because Evelyn, Evelyn loves it, and she had never had gumbo, so she was like, wow. Okay, Dwight Sanford, where was that picture taken? Alaska. In Alaska. Alaska. Wow. And it's another 66 that Chevelle. That is a super sport. That's a super sport. That one is well, a with it being sport. in Alaska, it's never going <laughs> to phase me. No, no. 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 Okay, guitars and cooking, we both love. I love that you can play. You love that I can cook. <clears throat> and we honestly, y'all. I've been known to pick a song or two. A song or two. I wish I could get him to do what he sat here on the set. Yesterday I was really, really sick and I could not do a show. But he did um, Me and You and a Dog Named Boo. Yeah, well, a snippet, yeah. I'm going to do the whole thing. Great song. Real soon, yeah, I love that little song. Great song. Yeah. And and that's what he'll say, well, I don't have any more in my head, and I know he's lying. How many are in your head? 800? 800,000? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I know the words to every single one of them. And then you and tell me. And I cannot <laughs> remember why I went to the basement. <laughs> it's our age. <laughs> that's something to do with our age. Yeah. Okay. All right. We've talked about guitars. We've talked a little bit about cooking. We're going to go to some music. You haven't gotten to see this yet. 
Tim is back. Tim is here working with us again. Is, is this the Mr. L. J. This montage? Is, yes, that you have not got to see. So yeah. Donovan's got this queued up, and we're going to show y'all a little bit about what you can go to YouTube. And I actually requested this because I get tired of flipping around looking for things. So this way you don't have to flip and look. You get eight or nine of your songs, just bam, 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 bam. There's nine songs? Eight or nine of them, yeah. Gosh. Yeah. So we're going to only do How about, did I rate that? Uh, Tim likes your music. All these guys like your music. All these guys tell me all the time, they say he's really, really good. They're really glad to have you here. Well, I'm, I'm glad to have those guys. Uh, they're Donovan glad to have you Trace, here. Donovan and Trace, they're in the, can y'all hear me? And they like that you brought the They're tape. in the control room right now. <laughs> and they just worked so hard to make this happen. Without you folks, we just couldn't we do it. There, there's Donovan Trace and, uh, Aaron, and Tim. Tim. And Aaron, yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah. Thank you to all Plus of they them. work to keep trouble down. Have you noticed that? Yes, yes. Anytime we start, <laughs> yeah. you know, yeah, no, no, yeah. we don't do that. Um, you know, um, life has ups and downs and crazy plans. And right now, I, I told somebody yesterday, life is so good, it's a little scary um, because, you know, we don't know what the economy's gonna do, but life is good, life is good, and we should, we should embrace every moment. And we know that your buddy Vic came through his surgery fine. He did, he did. I heard, I actually got a text just a few minutes ago, Vic's doing well. He's my shop foreman, and he's gonna be back on the job real soon. Now there's a rumor that an engine is going in a 57. You want to tell a little bit about that? I'll tell it. <coughs> you know how I am. I don't care a bit to tell it. <laughs> Go ahead. We got a 390 66 model GT engine fixing to set down into the chassis of a 57 Ford Fairlane. We're coming along. This thing's coming together. I got some guys coming to help me and we're going to set that motor and transmission in that frame. You know why? because the body is about ready. Wow. We're gonna set the body down back on the chassis. We done got our new mountain kit and everything. <clears throat> Things are coming together, folks. Things are happening. Yeah, you can't say Mr. LJ don't get things done. <laughs> You're no or maybe I just get on TV and brag about getting things done. It's these other guys doing it. <laughs> that might be. Well, it's one of those two. You can just take your pick. Might be. Well, <laughs> that's all sticky. I've learned the hard way. You'll get stuff on I your face. I know fingers. that is so funny. Yeah. Um, we have had an amazing four or five months of just hanging out and enjoying time together, and and we learn something about each other every day. And and I have seen something that made you really really smile. You love taking care of property. You love weed eating. You love doing. You love, you love the finished product. I do a lot of that. Yeah, you do a lot of that. And um, when we come back from this music break, we're gonna talk about a couple of things that you really love. And one of them was picking up chickens, chicken eggs in Latham Town oh, way yeah. back when. What a story. So you're gonna get we to tell We need a two that. hour show, we really <laughs> You're gonna get to yeah. tell that when we come back, but we're gonna take a music yeah, break right now. what a right bad story. This is on YouTube. Y'all can go to it and just type in my name and all this pops up and it is fantastic. And Tim, you did a great job, here we go. Oh, we had a technical glitch. Can you go back to where you had it before, Donovan? The one before it was edited? Yes, I can. Okay, we'll do that. We had a technical glitch. We bragged. We jinxed it. Technical difficulty. Did you do it's that? It's nothing that Brother Donovan and can't Mr. Fix. Trace can't straighten out. <laughs> All right, here we go. Georgia. 
We're right across from Ace Hardware, and you have no idea the work and the, and the pain I went to to get these two uh, corralled in here today. We got with us Victor Davis and his brother Bobby Davis. My name's D.Y. Sanford, and we're going to tell some biggins and we're going to sing some songs. Vic, I, you know them wheels you give me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Artillery? Our, our trouble. Yeah, yeah. I painted them things. I got them painted up, and they look good. Sure did. Well, what about the hubcaps? Well, I sold them. The wheels look so good after I painted them, I just sold the hubcaps. <laughs> <laughs> Sing a blues song. <laughs>
place where even the squares can have a home. We still wait on the glory down at the courthouse. And why the lightning still the biggest thrill of all? Leather boots are still in. Style of manly footwear, beads and Roman sandals won't be seen. Football still the roughest thing on campus, and the kids they're still respect. Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella J, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meat, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ, how may I serve you? The American Made Music Festival returns to Hiawassee, Georgia, September 15th through 17th. This three-day festival features the best of country, bluegrass, and gospel music, including special guests Craig Morgan, Lone Star, Ricky Skaggs, and Kentucky Thunder, Daly and Vincent. Stars and stripes forever, America. Three-day and single-day tickets available, along with on-site camping by the lake. The American Made Music Festivals with Daly and Vincent, presented by Gus Arendale and Springer Mountain Farms. United Country Talking Rock Realty says it best. I'm happy as long as I can see Sharp Top. From the ground up, new home to complete renovation or remodel, we have combined the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow, whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation 770-345-2000 or go online to georgiamtc.com. I said, come on, darling, take it downtown, because I want to see some of that country Blue Ridge, Georgia.
high-speed Wi-Fi. Not quite as important as running water in your home, but close. Ignite Internet from ETC powers your Wi-Fi network with consistent speeds to keep all your gadgets going strong. Streaming video players, laptops, tablets, even smartphones, so you're never stuck with those big cell data charges. And talk about value. Just pick your speed and keep the Wi-Fi flowing in your home at a great low price. Upgrade your Internet today. Call or visit etcnow.com to learn more. Okay, we are back, <clears throat> and I have one thing that I want to read, y'all, before we turn it over to Mr. Sanford, because... Um, Mr. who? Mr. Sanford, Mr. Elijah. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, listen to this, because we're going to be talking about... Well, heck, I can't find it, Dwight Sanford. I just had it up here reading What are you it. hunting? What Joyce Wilkie oh, just wrote. Yeah, we we, we just, just received a real cool. Uh, a really sweet, sweet message from Joyce Wilkie down in the Latham Town community. And she said that she knew you when you were a little boy. Is she that, is she Jerry's wife? I guess. I, I don't know. I think I she's Jerry her. Wilkie's wife. I, and yes, she knew me when I was a little bitty boy. Let me tell you what I would name her. The best pound cake maker in the world. She whoops my pound well, cake to Well, now, I don't like to take people's word for this kind of stuff. <laughs> but you would test it. <laughs> I need the proof. I need some pound cake to sample. Yeah, she makes a great pound cake. But she said you gave them a CD several years ago, and they have worn it out. So I think we need to get them a new CD. I so, don't see why not. Can you talk a little bit about Latham Town? I got a story I can tell about Latham Town. Way back in 1964, I was a little teeny weeny little guy, okay? Me and my family, or my family decided that we would move away from Pumpkin Center. We went to actually right outside of Free Home and to run a chicken farm for the Wilkie brothers. And no, well, their dad was alive then too. Don. Don and Jerry Wilkie, and their dad, Dole Wilkie. We took care of 14 laying houses. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, and this no. little boy worked and worked and worked, gathering eggs so many times a day. I forgot what it was, but we worked and worked. And uh, we lived, they, they furnished our home for us. We lived in their house, and we worked on their egg farm. And I got to know Jerry Wilkie, Don Wilkie, and Dole Wilkie. And uh, Jerry, I can remember Jerry riding around in that little funny looking truck. I thought it was a funny looking truck. <laughs> and it had the windshield right down in front of him and he, he said it was, it was, I thought it was funny looking. And he, he would come in and they'd load the eggs on that little truck he had and then take them out. And I got to know those guys and uh, I was so little. It's, it's amazing that they remember me. But yeah, and right outside, the, right out the road there in Latham Town in 1964, my, I went with my mom and dad one evening to a store out there. I forgot the name of the store, but there was a, a furniture store thing out there. And they went out there and bought a new kitchen set. It was table and chairs. And in my kitchen at the Dwight House right now sits that table and chairs. <laughs> and we have a photo <laughs> of it. Still got them. Yes, we have we a do. photo there of it. There it that. is, right there, there it is. There it is, there yes. it is. And uh, yep. I recognize some pear relish on your table. Yeah, I got a little bit. Yeah, just a little yeah, bit. I made it myself. Yeah, yeah you sure did. Yeah. You, you picked up the pears. Yeah. So, yeah. It's kind of like when I <coughs> do the engines myself. And, <laughs> yeah, yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, uh, Latham Town, uh, a happy, happy memory for you. But y'all came it back really here. Is. You came yeah, back we, here. Yeah, we came back after a few months. And Lord, I was so sad that I, I was little and, and, and everything was so different. All I did was cry. <laughs> and then uh, Daddy got tired of hearing that. So we came back home to Pumpkin Center. <laughs> and I went back to the LJ School where all my friends were. Wow. Both of them. <laughs> Both friends. Yes. Oh, good. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> now, I was showing real estate last night, and I saw eight deer, but I didn't see any turkey. Have you got some I turkeys? have the strangest turkey. Yeah, I hope you all <laughs> like this. This is so strange. You can sit at my house on my porch. 
I've been doing it in the evenings. Now everybody has turkeys. You see turkeys around, wild turkeys, okay? These are wild. <clears throat> and you see them around. And I've been seeing them and thinking, yeah, I got wild turkeys hanging out at my house along with some other stuff like bears and deer and this, that, and the other. But now I've noticed, I was sitting out there the other evening, you can sit there and the turkeys are roosting in my yard. They roost in a big tree right at the edge of my yard. And I was sitting there and I heard something flapping and flying and I said, well, what in the world? And those turkeys were going to roost. And they'd one and then the other and then the other and a bunch of turkeys roosting in the tree at the edge of my yard. I bet you don't have that. I bet they trust you. They must. They trust you. They've never seen your guns. <laughs> no. No. Oh, I wouldn't hurt one of them for nothing in the world. And uh, it's just good. Actually, I'm going to buy them some feed. As soon as I find out what turkeys like to eat, I'm going to put feed what in my yard. Ah, scratch feed? I guess. I guess. I guess. And, uh, now, now, that duct tape, you tried... It's not working. <laughs> you tried duct it. Duct tape. <laughs> you've heard, folks, you've heard many times of the many uses of duct tape, right? Yeah. And I know it does. It does a lot of things. With, yeah. a, with a pair of pliers and mm -hmm. some duct tape, mm -hmm. you can fix anything. Mm -hmm. Well, today, it's not working. We found something that duct tape will not help with, and it's the 485 words a minute flash, a verbal flash flood that we get here from this lady. It's just not working. I tried it during break a while ago. It, it, no, if anything, it went up. Yeah. Please don't think the wrong thing. We have a weird sense of humor, and we have fun, we and have we fun. get things done. We do that. Yes, we, we do. do well, after much deliberation and many, many phone calls, and I advised About my you, friend. I advised you yeah. to uh, talk to your friend and see, because my dear husband called all over the United States before he bought a Harley Davidson. He called all over the United States before he bought a tractor. That's the way you do it. He called, and I'd say, are you going that far to yeah. get it? Well, let me tell you. I have this friend. He lives up in Tennessee, and he's been in the market for a tractor. And he's one of these stickler guys. He's an apples-to-apples apples kind of guy. He called Iowa. He called Indiana, he called Texas, Rome, Georgia. He called everywhere about his tractor. He's, he's got to have everything just perfect, this guy does. He's one of those Tennessee people. <laughs> and uh, it must be the water they drink up there. Yeah. It's probably that water. Yeah, he's around Inglewood there somewhere. And he, uh, he asked me, he said, so what do I do about it? He said, I'm just I'm checking out tractors and, and all this stuff, and I said, have you not heard of Reed and Reed sales in Chatsworth, Georgia, right here in your back door? He goes, no, what about it? I said, go see the guys. Go over there and talk to them. They have the most extravagant inventory you've ever seen. They got tractors. They got implements everywhere. They got track hose. They got, I can't even tell you all they got. They're huge. They got this big inventory. He went and he talked to Reed and Reed Sales in Chatsworth, Georgia, and he bought that tractor from them right here in his back door. And let me tell you something, folks. If, if he bought a tractor, mm -hmm. the deal was right. <laughs> Those guys are great over there. He loves them. I've known them for a while now, Reed and Reed Tractors, uh, Reed and Reed Sales in Chatsworth, Georgia. Even their they're, they're parts and service guys friendly. You know how you go to these places and the parts and service guys all grumpy and he ain't so happy? Well, over there, He's as happy as the salesman. Their salesman and their service guy are one and the same. Mm -hmm. Best place ever. <laughs> they got you. They'll take care of you. They do good over there. They got what you're looking for, too. You don't need to go to Rome, Georgia. You don't need to go to Atlanta Texas. or Chattanooga or Texas. Texas. Read and read sales in Chatsworth, Georgia, at the foothills of beautiful Fort Mountain a place I dearly love to be. You do love to be there. Let me ask you something. I'd never heard of the brand of tractor that the guy got. What yeah, they sell it? Branson. Oh, I checked them out myself. I was just looking I'd at them. I'd never heard of them. Built like a Mack truck. You can compare them to any of these other tractors, and their, their, their hydraulic pumps are way heavier. Everything about them is just heavy duty. Love Branson tractors. My friend likes his tractor. He's tickled to death about it. There you go. Up there in Tennessee. <clears throat> there you drinking go. Drinking that Tennessee water. 
<laughs> That's what happened. Yeah, he's an apples to apples kind of guy. You that, know what uh, I've noticed about you? Everybody you run with does the same thing. You check it out, you study it, mm -hmm. and y'all don't jump to conclusions. Yeah. You do it, but you do your research. Well, he checked all over the country, literally, okay? And he bought his tractor at Reed and Reed Sales, Chatsworth, Georgia. There you go. I mentioned there Fort Mountain, didn't I? Yeah, I already you, said that. Yeah. Do, we, do we know you love Fort Mountain? I, it's a place I dearly love to be. Definitely. I record music. Yes, at the foothills of Fort Mountain. <laughs> yes, I know. I've witnessed it. You know, when, when I look at what I've been allowed to witness, um, y'all, I got some good stuff. I got some good, good stuff that one day we're going to share a lot of the bloopers. And you have you said... You said you wouldn't. You know, <clears throat> you said we could. And then you taught me into it. Yes, <laughs> yes. Because it's he, that cooking. It's the cooking. <laughs> he watched it. No, yeah. he watched them, and it's so funny. Yeah, I did. I actually looked at a lot of bloopers, and they're hilarious. They, they are. Really are. And so, and Especially when I take my hat off, <laughs> but, you know. Isn't it good to make people laugh? I love it. Isn't it Laughing good? is the best medicine that there is out there, folks. Absolutely, absolutely. Have fun. You Even know. if you don't get so much done, try to have some fun. But yep. what I do is have fun and get things done. Yes, you do. Today you're going to take <coughs> your buddy out to eat for his birthday. Yes, I 80 am. 80 years old. Yes, I am. Um, that Harley guy. That Harley guy. Yeah. That Harley guy. Vietnam vet. Um, you seem to associate with some of the best when, when we look at Vic Davis. Oh, he's, when a, we look at, he's a whale of a guy. You know, when we look at Brian Strickland, look at him, Brian Vietnam Strickland. vet. What a yeah. man. What yeah. a man. Yeah, yeah. Yes. there's so many good guys that often are forgotten. And as we approach 9-11, y'all, we have got to remember every single firefighter, every single police officer, every single EMT, every single, even the people who did forensic science who went into the 9-11 towers, many of them died from the after effects of those chemicals and everything they breathed in that day. Absolutely, it's such a, you gotta be, you gotta be so thankful. Uh, look at it like this. While we were cruising the streets of Ella J mm -hmm. and listening to Creedence Clearwater Revival and the Beatles on our stereos with our base 48 speakers, them guys were over there fighting in a jungle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you gotta, you gotta do this, folks. Yep. You gotta yep. do this. <clears throat> Yeah, and, and many of them came back with Agent Orange effects, and many of them came yeah. back with loss of hearing, and, and many of them. But would they do it again? Of course they would. Sure they would. Of course they would. Yeah. And they do yeah. it for us. Yeah, that'd be great. Donovan's <clears throat> going to pull up some 9-11 photos that we would love to share with you all. Um, on Monday, we're going to re-air my friend Paul Nelson, who is a NYPD detective. During 9-11, he was there. He was, his job was to pick up the remains of over 3,000 people who died in 9-11. You talk about affecting you forever, and um, Paul is now dealing with health, health problems himself from his heart to his lungs. And it is about, he would not change his job. He would not not do his job. He did his job because he was called to duty that day when those horrible people killed everybody in America. Mm. Everybody Lord, yeah. in America, over 3,000 people died. So Donovan's pulling up the pictures. And um, as we approach the 9-11 weekend, if you see a veteran out having dinner, go over and pick up his check. Have you ever done that? I do that a lot. Yeah. I, you're not supposed to, yeah, yeah, do that. Yeah, do it, <laughs> do it. Yes. Because if you yes. see a veteran sitting there having a meal, um, know that he fought for your freedom and, and your, for you to be in America enjoying everything we do. I, I didn't tell you about my closing yesterday. I had this closing. Got two people sitting over here from Germany. I got one sitting over here from the Philippines. And they're speaking German together. My Philippine client speaks German. And I looked at Brett Jones and I said, only in America could something like this happen. I'm, you know, I'm the American. They're American now. They're American. They're dual citizens. And we're sitting at a table in Ella J, Georgia. Love it. Welcome to Ella J. Love it. Yeah, welcome to Ella J. And we're bringing You've heard in, that before. Yeah, we're bringing in such diversity. And I love that. And and before we left, they were exchanging phone numbers, and it was just really, really cool. So apple blossom, baby possum, muscadine wine. I'm so proud to call a piece of this mine. That's right. That's right. 
Boy, that song. That song gets in your head, and it, it does. <laughs> that was the idea. <coughs> it worked. It worked. <coughs> it worked. Okay, Donovan, did you get the pictures to come up? Got them? Okay, they're loading them. Um, it, is, it is a weekend to, to give honor and glory to all those 9 11 Lord, first yes. responders. Look at, look at this. This is, uh, this is America the day that those terrorists bombed our nation with airplanes. And, you know, we all thought that it was an airline accident. We didn't believe it was happening. Look at that. Look at that. Can you imagine breathing oh, that? Oh, man. And that's why they're dying of cancer today, mm -hmm. because they jumped in and they did what they had to. Look at, I mean, that is, you talk about, Gosh. golly, dude. Do you remember where you was at the I know morning exactly. that happened? Yes, exactly. Me On too. the phone with my husband, yeah. I was watching TV with yep. my Uncle Emmett, and yep. we both and cried. Yeah, Trace was one year old when that happened. Lord, but that, um, what, what a horrible, horrible day for America. And we should never weaken our shores to allow that to happen again. So don't forget 9-11 is coming up. <coughs> Gosh. Okay, when we talked about guitars, you talked about the Credence guitar, but you didn't talk about this one. Tell me about this one. You just gave it away. <laughs> Intentionally? Did y'all know Where that? is duct tape when you need it? <coughs> You gave it away. I know, I know. Now all you gotta do is send me that text and you'll have a t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This guitar over here is as legendary as they come, played by the famous right here in our hometown, Bill Burkett. Now, Bill Burkett could play a guitar, folks. He passed away a few, <laughs> day, a few years ago, just very few, like three or four years ago. Mm -hmm. And my friend picked this up for me at a yard Not sale moved. and brought it to me. The one over here. And, uh, the one over here. Yeah. I'm, I'm keeping it. That's old Bill's I guitar. I gotta hide. Bill Burkett. You remember him? He, he played guitar go. around here forever. I played there with him go. a whole lot. We all played with him. Learned a lot of licks I did from Bill Burkett. Bill Burkett was wow. a guitar playing man. He could play it behind his head. Oh, no. Like, <clears throat> like somebody oh, no. did. He could just tear it up. <clears throat> well, I had. He taught me Groovy Grub Worm and the Buckaroos. I had a request from somebody who said we really like when Is this he, the curveball? Yeah. When he just picks a guitar, is there any chance that you would just pick this guitar? Now? Yeah. What do you want to hear? I don't care. And the viewers don't care. They just love your techniques. And huh. you don't just do... You mean you like me? <laughs> they do. <laughs> they do. They well, do. Uh, I don't know what it'd be. Well, I don't care. You can you can do the music to uh, me and you and a dog named Boo. I don't care. Whatever. Mm, okay. How about that? We'll just play a tune. Sing when I was a little boy. My my people would do it. There's a little rosewood casket sitting on a marble stand. There's a package of love letters written by my true love's hand. Go and bring them to me, brother. Read them till I fall asleep. Fall asleep to wake in heaven. Oh, dear brother, do not weep. Does that suit you? That suits me. That All suits right. me. And I bet the viewers are happy because they they have asked, why is he not picking now? Well, he's not picking because I recorded so much stuff that I have two iPads full. I have a phone full. And instead of using it, I have to play again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah. really, I have a rough time. <laughs> Yeah. I, I had it hard. I give you a hard time, yeah, don't I? It's tough. He asked me one day, he said, are you this tough on everybody that you do? I said, yeah, pretty much. I don't see you doing that to other other guests because I, I guess they just won't have it, will they? They won't put no. up with it. But you... Just thank God you didn't play guitar, you other guests. That's all I know because, yeah. boy, she likes that. Yeah. When, when we brought you here from the first moment, the first show, we started getting the comments, we started getting the calls, and we started getting the feedback. 
And so... What, what was that comment that the Wilkie lady? The Wilkie lady did we, said... Did we read it? Yeah. No, I couldn't we didn't find read it. it did no, we? let me see if I can find it. Anyway, you talk she said I minutes. was a good musician, and she said that she had worn out the CDs that I gave her. See, I hadn't seen them in so long. One day they came to the pawn shop. I had talked to this other guy, and I forgot his name, and I said, I used to know some Wilkies down there. Right. He said, I know them. And he went and talked to them, and one day they walked in the pawn shop. I had no idea. And it was Jerry Wilkie and Don. <laughs> And they came in a pawn shop, and I said, do you remember a little bitty boy that used to pick up eggs for you down there in 1964? And they said, yes, we do. I said, you're the guy that drove the little funny-looking truck, aren't you? And it was him. Okay, Joyce Wilkie. This is what she said. Thank you, Sherry. I'm sure he remembers us. They were such a sweet family. We connected with Dwight a few years ago and reminisced about the past. He gave us a CD, and we have worn it out. It's so good. Thank you. So that is so sweet. Thank that is you. so sweet. Oh, thank you. And, and we do, we laugh and we cut up and we give each other a hard time, but man, you talk about respect. I respect you so much. and I As I, I do you, lady. And I, I honor what you do for others by telling people we all have the ability to do for others and and I've seen the work you've done in the studio for Vic I've seen the work you did for Ed I've seen what your older friends mean to you and and like today you and Bob are going to go out and celebrate his birthday yeah we he's sure gonna be are. 80 yep. he's gonna be 80 Sunday is he slowing down any not really he well you don't ride his motorcycle anymore obviously I bought it he doesn't ride his motorcycle anymore. <laughs> no, I at bought 80? it. Okay. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. Go figure. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I knew yeah, he was yeah. gonna say something yeah, like that. Yeah, so. yeah. Imagine yeah, that. Yeah, I bought his uh, ultra classic, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be. Uh, we have a lot of fun. Oh, and old Bob. When I get in the truck, guess what? He has a Sirius XM, and. Before I even get in the truck, it's set on the Beatles channel. <laughs> I love it. That is so sweet. <laughs> yep. Now, you said y'all went to Graceland together. We rode those bikes to get to Graceland. Sure did. In, in some years, just a few years ago. And uh, Elvis wasn't at home. No, no. He's, he's home. He's, he's up there. there. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. But we went there. And uh, it's so funny at Graceland. I don't know if it's still like that, but at the time, if you leaned over a rail to, to like try to look, at a, a thing would come on the system and so automatically say, please do not snap pictures using flash. And then it'd say, thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> <clears throat> I know. Oh, and I was there. There was a pool table at, the, uh, at Graceland, and I was gawking over the pool table. I was thinking, the Beatles played at this pool table with Elvis. And uh, found out later it wouldn't. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I know I've already told that, but it's fun to tell. <coughs> I love finding people that haven't heard these stories I tell. That way I get to tell them again. Yep. Okay, one line out of an Elvis song that you love. What Elvis song do you really love? I guess Suspicious Minds. Boy, you got Boy, that Boy, that, that latter stuff he did. Well, no, no, now I, lo I love the sun, the sun sessions too. I really do. The sun sessions are great, but... It, it got different. He 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 got all modernized, and he mm -hmm. had these real hot drummers, and and the and the black ladies singing back up, and all mm -hmm. that. That was, I guess, I like that a lot. I do, yeah. But Suspicious Minds, who wrote that? Did Mac Davis write it? No. I don't know who wrote it. Who uh, wrote that? I don't know. That was a great song. Great it was a great song. song, and yeah. done by a lot I like of people. I play it too. I play it a lot. Yeah, yeah. And it's on a CD that you did. It's on a CD that I recorded called Ball Hootin'. Check that out. It ain't Elvis, but if you're going to beat that, you got to get up pretty <laughs> early. It's pretty good. Yeah, get your guitar in tune. And you know how we always say he's out of Hank Sr. CDs? Well, he is out of Hank Sr. CDs, and he's going to reproduce it. But yesterday, as I showed a house... I just had to give it to the people because they love Hank Sr. So I gave away my last one. So <laughs> does that mean you're going to produce faster so I'll get a new we'll one? We'll get that done right away. Okay. All I'm going to do is tweak at it a little bit. I'm going to go back into the projects and just tweak at it a little bit and, and remaster it. I'll say remaster it. I'm going to get it remastered. Yeah, yeah. And and let me tell you, if you put it in your Chevrolet Suburban Bose system 
and you turn it up really, really loud, it is really, really good. And very rarely does anyone call the law. It's really That's good. That's what I like. It's really good. It's really good. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're going to... We're going to go, as we go off the air today, we're going to go back to the montage of what Tim put together. And yeah. your music, there's a variety. There's a little bit of gospel. There's a little bit of old country. There's a little bit of blues. There's a little bit of rock and roll. But you truly are an old rocker, and that's why in honor of you today, I wore this tie-dyed stuff. Because you always ask me these stupid questions I can't answer because they're, I figured it out. You were having fun in a period of time that I was working three jobs and raising a house full of kids, yeah, well, so I didn't know that music you talked to me about. I didn't have time to listen to music. Yeah, I had my share of the working three jobs, too. Yes, I know. I was talking to a guy the other day, and everybody's different, and please don't hate me, but I don't know anything about sports, and I don't watch sports. I don't know what or in racing. the world. You don't racing, even watch racing. I don't know anything about it, but I was talking to a guy one day, and he was kind of new. I was just getting to know him a little bit. And he was asking me about football and all that. I said, look, hold up. <laughs> I said, I'm into 57 Fords and screaming guitars. I don't know much about any sports or anything like that. And we're all different. Yeah. And if it wasn't for that, yeah, I know. I'm really different. Yeah, I know. I <laughs> yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. But if it wasn't for us being different, the world wouldn't go round and round now, would it? What you makes you don't world. watch movies because I was going to ask him a movie line one day because it's one of my favorite lines and it reminds me of him. He doesn't watch movies. He doesn't watch television. Do you read books? Go to sleep every time. Yeah. Yes, I can read. <laughs> Yes, he can yes. read. Yeah, he read. <laughs> and that about my friend in Tennessee that bought the tractor? Yes, I have friends. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. not all of them are in Tennessee. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, but we, we do, we have so much fun, and, and we have uh, accomplished a lot in a short time. And one of the greatest things we've accomplished is to get your comments and to, to hear the old stories that you share about him. And that's often where our programs come from, is somebody sent me a message and said, hey, that was my brother's 57 on the picture of his CD, or that was my so-and-so, or that was my, and it comes from y'all, it comes from our audience because you knew him, you loved him, you knew him long before I knew him, and, and y'all have got some cool stories, and we keep saying if we could get some of the folks who have been out there, like Ronnie in his car driving like a, an amazing, he could have beaten, he could have beat Chase Elliott and everybody else in racing. Oh gosh. But um, we haven't heard from him. I would love to hear some of those guys' stories from them rather than from you. I know. But. But the real deal of Ella J isn't like it used to be. You don't know everybody. You don't know what car they're driving. Things have changed so drastically. What are you, yeah. what are you doing? I'm trying to not have stupid <laughs> mouth, but it's not working. It's crazy. When you get old, I'm, I'm, I have a case of weird mouth. <laughs> my mouth looks funny. I see it's me talking, and, and it looks funny. It's what old can I do age. about this? It's old what are you going to do? You get you get weird mouth when you get old. If you ever come in here with a toupee, I'm quitting. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I had one guest yeah. with a toupee, and y'all, it just absolutely. I was just <laughs> <laughs> okay, my daughter told me just as I was coming on, just before I came on the set this morning, she said, "Dad, don't try to be funny, and don't try to use big words." <laughs> Sorry, it didn't work. I love it. <laughs> I never listened to her. God, it feels good to laugh. <laughs> it feels good to breathe because I've had a hard time with that. If can you, you can't laugh, what? Can you introduce what we're going to right now? What is it, the montage? Yes. Yes, I can. Folks, yes. one of our producers. Look at your camera. Yes, one of our producers made a montage of me, a bunch of video clippings, and uh, with my music in the background, and I'm tickled to death with it. I haven't even seen all, I haven't seen any of it much yet, but he done a fine job. His name is Tim something, what? Christensen. Tim Christensen, and uh, he done such a good good job, Tim, and thanks, Donovan, and, and thanks, Trace, and Aaron, and all you folks. What fun, what fun. Here we go. When the last breath of life has gone from my body 
and my lips are as cold as the sea. When my friends gather round for my farewell party, won't you pretend you love We're back on live. Folks, thank we thank you so much for watching our show today. We had so much fun. We hope you did too. We hope we brought a laugh into your home. And we thank you again for watching the duct tape session. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We just have fun and we get things done. <laughs> the Bye, Mr. Ella J Show. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella J, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ, how may I serve you?